you begin introducing Laddie, only to be rudely interrupted. I'm busy, the old man snaps. You begin introducing Laddie, but the boy cuts you off. Look, I'm sorry, but you need to leave. The frankly heartless reception Laddie receives begins to weigh on her. Her head hangs low. Her resolve from earlier, now a distant memory. Whatever happened here, it's frayed her relations with the village even more than you thought. You all decide it's best to leave the villagers alone for the time being, and instead search for her mother's personal effects. You ask the girl if she'd like to play with Laddie, but she simply glares at you and says, Mom told me not to talk to you. You start explaining Laddie's plight to the woman, but she doesn't even acknowledge your existence. Laddie, leads you to her home, which turns out to be the home of Mayor Grief. You always considered yourself close with Grief, and yet you had no idea he had a daughter. You open the door to a completely silent house. Grief must be out. Laddie enters what is ostensibly her home with the soft, suspicious movements of a thief. You step into Grief's room. Sunbeams from the window play across an immaculately organized desk and tidy bookshelf. You all search for her mother's effects, doing your best not to disturb anything. Laddie tugs insistently at your sleeve. Has she found something? You turn to her. She holds in her hands a weathered book. It looks rather like the one she's been making a picture book out of. This is it. You both might finally learn something definitive about her mother. You gently open the cover. What are you doing here? The master of the house appears, his eyes wild with suspicion, darting between you and Laddie. You insist that you can explain if he'd just give you a chance. He roars, clearly not willing to give you that chance. His face contorts with demonic fury, tears forming in her eyes at the sudden and incomprehensible rage emanating from the man. Laddie runs out of the room. You give chase, not sparing a single moment to contemplate what could possibly cause someone as kind as grief to become such a monster. Thus far, you have woven a tale of adventure that has incorporated yarns from the Maidens of the South and West Isles. According to your navigation map, there ought to be islands home to Maidens in the northern and eastern regions of the ocean as well. You've likely grown quite accustomed to seafaring. From this point onward, you can sail the ocean as you see fit. But be wary. One never knows what might happen out on the high seas.
Discover a shipwreck. You climb aboard and begin searching for anything useful. When you return to your vessel, the shipwreck sinks silently into the sea. Magnificent. Hmm, congrats. I don't know what it is, but there's just something so relaxing. Congrats. Ah, the great open sea. Huzzah! What an adventure!
Yeah, uh, you can't cross Whirlpool cards. Fight him off. I don't know what it is. Like you can feel the sea breeze.
rush of the wind filling your senses, you open up the navigation map to check your current position and heading. In the eastern region of the sea, there is supposed to be an island with a maiden living on it. However, the present look of the skies makes it clear that those waters will soon be battered by a storm. You could still turn back now if you so choose. You decide to head for the East Isle. In the shadows of a rocky reef, there seems to be a good place to moor the ship. It would behoove you to prepare for the coming storm. The Bon Vent creeps, swaying atop the tempestuous seas. You and your companions huddle in the ship's cabin. The dim light of your lantern threatening to fade at any moment as you all wait for the storm to pass. Laddie is wrapped tightly in a blanket, looking much like a large caterpillar. Your joke that the ship might sink seems to have frightened her. You don't see lack around, but it is likely trapped inside the blanket, having fallen prey to Laddie's squeezing hug. The ship lurches. A book falls from Laddie's pack and lands on the floor near you. It's the picture book she made, the one you peeked in back at the grotto. Having evidently learned nothing from last time, you decide to take another look in the book. As you turn the pages once again, you come to realize what the book actually is. At first you thought it was just a picture book, but the first half of it actually appears to be Laddie's own diary. It's full of passages which detail Laddie's life when she was little, a time when she still dreamed of becoming a maiden. Another day, another round of maiden training. Dad is always there to encourage me when I do a good job, so no matter how tough it gets, I can handle it. I decided I'd head straight home once I finished, since Mom was waiting for me. If I train super hard, all the other villagers will be happy with me. I have to keep these people smiling. I have to become the maiden. Mom's the current maiden of our village, and she's a great cook and an awesome person. She's been making tons of really delicious food lately. The food tastes so good, and when I start shoveling it into my mouth, forgetting to even chew it, Mom warns me, slow down so you don't choke. And then Dad calls me a piggy, even though he always eats more than me. I wish we could be happy like this forever. If I become the maiden and protect the village, will my family be able to stay together like this forever? 
I get really worried and ask my parents about it. Dad gives me a gentle nod, but for some reason, Mom doesn't say anything. 